This is the ADA analysis of Bulldog Stadium done by Sarah Zeffabach and Taylor Ray for Dr. Mahoney's class RA-154. We began our analysis of Bulldog Stadium, Stadium from the exterior, first focusing on the parking lots and the structures that have been provided. In the so-called white lot on the west side of the stadium, there are nine paved ADA parking lots. In the blue lot on the south end of the stadium, there are only eight paved ADA spots. And in the red lot on the east side of the stadium, there are eight paved ADA stalls. However, there is no ADA parking for the ticket office if a patient would like to pick up their tickets or wish to speak to a ticket office representative, which this can cause many headaches. On game days for games hope hosted by football in Bulldog Stadium, there is an ADA shuttle that shuttles people from the other side of the Fresno State campus in a different parking lot to one of these ADA paved lots, either in the white lot or the red lot, where they, they patrons can wait on a bench and be taken to their seat by either a normal golf cart or a wheelchair cart. According to the Associate Athletic Director for Internal Operations for Fresno State Athletics, he noted that after analysis, the ADA shuttle bus can only take 48 people per hour, and the accessible cart ramp that is used for game days is sloped at 20%, which is three times the allowable limit. Both of these things pose very hardships for Fresno State as they are trying to host football games. Upon fuller analysis as well, there is a drop-off between the paved parking and the dirt and grass of those lots. This can also cause issues with patrons in a wheelchair or needing extra assistance. As we worked from the exterior to the interior of Bulldog Stadium, we walked through what Fresno State Athletics uses as their ADA gate for game days. This would be the southeast gate with a black rolling gate that is open during game days. This is the flattest and most well-paved entrance of the stadium, which is why it has been designated ADA. However, the walkway from this main entrance is sloped up to 6.4%, which is much above the maximum. Patrons with that need a little more accessibility are sent here when they cannot go through a magnetron and need to be wanded or need assistance with a wheelchair cart or a cart getting to their seats. However, there are no handrails at this main, main gate and there is no signage depicting where accessible routes diverges from the main route. Upon further review, there are no accessible routes within facility from ticket booth, concession area, toilet rooms, drinking fountains, or NA seating. The main pedestrian north gate entrance off seater is not firm or stable, providing severely cracked and slick pavement. There are ADA benches provided at many places to wait for the golf cart for assistance, but the adjacent part is not level for a wheelchair. The walkway for the main south entrance is sloped 6.4% and walk away from Player pass gate is sloped at 9.1%. Walkway to upper concourse on the west side of the stadium is between 9.2% to 12.2% slope, which exceeds the 5% slope that is allowable. There is a guardrail, but no handrail under 30 inches provided. In addition, there are no provided handrails at main gates where the slope exceeds maximum. Consequently, there is no signage depicting where accessible routes diverges from main route. If attending Bulldog Stadium for a game day and you would like to purchase ADA seating, there are 140 ADA spots on the top sections and 60 at field level. However, the field level ADA seating requires patrons to use stairs from any access and has a view that is blocked by players from the visiting team. The upper level wheelchair accessible seating is also sloped 4.4% all the way to 7.6%, making them unusable for a wheelchair. In addition to these ADA seatings be being in compliant with the amount of just slope, there's also no contrasting colors on exterior stairways at the stadium, which can definitely cause problems. 
The Associate AD for Internal Operations for Fresno State Athletics also provided us with the 2018 ticket averages for ADA seating. On average, for each Bulldog football home game, 78 ADA tickets were sold and 92 were unsold. If a patron needing accessible access would like to visit a concession stand during a Bulldog football game, this would be a major problem. All of the concession counters sit at 41 inches high, and at the south concession stands, 4.6% cross slope, which exceeds the 2 percent allowable. And there is a 77 running slope at many other concession stand areas. Some concession areas that were already not compliant because of the height also had protruding objects that could injure someone. When analyzing the bathrooms, we found a multitude of problems. To begin with, there's an 8% slope at entrance to the bathrooms, and there's no clear bathroom signage on the outside of the door to indicate whether it is male or female. The bathroom doors also weigh 10 pounds each. In one particular men's restroom, there were 19 urinals with only one urinal, urinal that is accessible. In the women's restroom South 7, there were seven stalls provided with no ADA stall provided. Upon further analysis, we determined that the toilet paper dispenser was 18 and a half inches from the ground, the seat cover dispenser is 36 inches from the ground and is blocked by the toilet. Soap dispensers are 43 inches high, paper towels at 55 inches high, which are both over the 40 inch max. The stall compartment was 58 inches wide and not the minimum 60 inches wide. Inside all the lavatory doors, there is no U-pull provided, and there is a 4% gap between the grab bar and the toilet tissue dispenser. Signs that are designed to be read by touch by someone who uses Braille have abrasive edges. When exiting the restrooms, we found that the water fountains stood at 38 inches, which is 2 inches over the allowable height. So this concludes our ADA project on Bulldog Stadium. As we can see, no stadium or building is perfect, and Fresno State Athletics has a lot to work on. In the future, California State University Fresno and Fresno State Athletics need to invest in this building to make it accessible for all fans who want to cheer on the Bulldogs for game days. Although Fresno State Athletics does all that they can with the obstacles and barriers that are given to them by this facility, it is time that they upgrade and give the fans the treatment that they deserve. And we leave you with this. Go, Go dogs! dogs!